Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin with Bridgeburner 412. We're going to be making our way through this masterpiece of a game. Glad to have you guys along for the ride. We've already got Dark Souls 1 on the channel. Dark Souls 2 needs to be on the channel. We got Dark Souls 3 on the channel. We got Bloodborne on the channel. Let's go ahead and get this puppy up, shall we? Join me in our adventure. Here we go. Perhaps you've seen it, maybe in a dream, a murky, forgotten land. A place where souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded. The symbol of the curse. An augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. Probably a good way to start. Crafty, I'm sure, is going to kill us many times in our adventure. Uh, and I should probably state at the outset here that uh, I'm not a great player by any stretch. I am a competent player. Um, so there will be deaths. It's not going to be a deathless or hitless run or a speed run or anything like that. This is going to be making our way through the game 
in my objective here is to provide you a guide so that you too can get through this very difficult game uh, in such a way as to cross it off your list of uh, difficult games. This was the first uh, Souls game that I actually played seriously. Um, I did originally buy Dark Souls 1 and I played it uh, until the point where in that very first area where the uh, flaming ball of fire comes down and kills you. Um, and I said, I, I am not psychologically prepared to handle that level of trolling in a video game. But I have since uh, matured. There's no need to hit those little dog things. Um, don't really get anything from them. Um, you can't get through this over here, so... This way. Yeah, so um, I decided that I needed to, you know, I played video games all my life and I, I needed to kind of do it. I needed to play a difficult game. This was considered at the time to be one of the most difficult games ever. So I said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it no matter what. And I died an enormous amount. And uh, there is a way to get past that guy, I know, without getting hit, but um, I have been successful, as you can see. Head over this way, and we are going to drop down over the waterfall here, and grab this smooth silky stone. It's going to help us with the idiot crows a little bit later. And we're going to head on in and get things started by getting trolled by a bunch of old ladies. I am going to fast forward past a lot of the a lot of the stuff just because, um, you know, this is meant to sort of be a guide. We'll watch um, we'll watch some of the cutscenes, but uh, but not all of them. So we're going to go ahead and skip her. her We'll call ourselves Bridge Burner. Yes, that is my name. <laughs> At least you know your own. Right, yeah, stop yelling. All right, so we're going to go with a warrior. Uh, you can look at the other classes that are here. Warrior is going to start us out with the stats that help us the most early on. For our build, we're going to kind of be working towards a dex build eventually, but... Um, but to start out, we're going to start with the warrior. Uh, for our gift, we're going to go with the seed of a tree of giants. And uh, before we, before we uh, are satisfied, let's go ahead and, you know, we want to, we want to do a little bit for our appearance. Although, um, you know, it isn't much to work with early on here. Um, that dirty hair. We'll go with the dirty blonde hair. That's fine. Um, I do want to change the color. Let's see. I'll go with like a like a light brown. Eyebrows should also be the same color. Light brown. Eye color will mix up a little bit. Um, hi. Ooh, that's kind of sharp looking. Like that. Beard. I like the five o'clock shadow kind of look, so we'll go with that. Do we want to change the color of the beard to match the hair? Sometimes beards are darker. And uh, we don't need to do any tats or anything like that. Um, so I think we're ready to go. My true self? Sure. All people come here yeah, for, the for the same reason, yes. Alright, now, when you start the game, uh, the first thing you want to do is head up the stairs. Grab your uh, effigy here. Uh, those are what put you back in your human form. Like we spent some time getting our look 
and what's going to happen is we're going to die and immediately turn into an ugly zombie looking thing which is kind of a thing in souls games i don't know why it is a thing in souls games but you spend your time making yourself and then you you know you die and then you garbage. so that'll happen uh you can kill her and get three i think it's three more uh effigies i would suggest you don't however because if you ever want to respec, you need to come back here and talk to this lady. And um, if you kill that woman, then you don't get to come back and respec. So, um, you know, you might be playing through, you're following this guide, you might play through and go with the dex build and then realize I want a big old beefy sword. And I want to do a big old club build and just smash things. Uh, you can definitely do that uh, if you respec. All right, so we're eventually going to light all of these things. You could run straight on through over there um, and start the game proper. This does give you a few souls. Uh, these things tell you about the controls of the game, so it's like a tutorial area. So uh, feel free to read those if you want. Um, I would not light your torch. Uh, if you look here, the torch we have, it's right next to our pants over here. That's the torch indicator. We have five minutes worth of torch. Um, you don't want to waste your torch time. Uh, you're going to need it at particular points in the game, and this is one of the points in the game that you need it. So just go ahead and uh, make your way through in the dark. Uh, that guy you're not going to be killing for quite some time. So we're just going to leave him for now. Time to give the backstab mechanic here. It's one of my favorite animations in the game. It's good stuff. Different weapons have different uh, backstab animations. Come on up here, grab the dagger. Head in here. There's a guy with the bow. He's going to go bow cheese on you. We are the only ones who are bochies. And we will be doing our fair bochies Uh Because we need to, but because it's fun. Go ahead and head on out the door. This way. Now, uh, I usually bring this guy over here to avoid him. I did not avoid him. I don't think I've ever gotten through this area without getting hit. Uh, this little room. I always get hit in this little room. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Plunkety plunk of damage there. there we go. I don't jump down. We're gonna need to go this way first. I almost ran down. You know, the when you play the game, I don't think there's a way to play it Give offline. Us Here are the stupid crows. Oh, they're so obnoxious. Uh, kick the ladder down so you can make your way back up. What you do here with these stupid crows is you go into their nest, and there, you know, there's people. Out, how can you? How can you get mad at the crows? Because they're dumb. There's they're dumb. There's nothing heroic about it, but. Leave the uh, leave the smooth and silky stone there. And they'll say, oh, yay, it's a silky smooth stone. Titanite shard, boom, that's pretty good. It gives you something random. You can get, like, this high-powered axe, I think, too, right from the beginning, but it's extremely rare. But Titanite shard is, is, is pretty good stuff. Feeling good about the run already. Titanite shard. Titanite shards are upgrade materials for your weapon. So, yeah, it's good to get that. Coming in this little fog door, we might quite possibly have our first death. Uh, and yes, it is in the tutorial area, but you know, what can you do? It'll be a gravity death. Uh, for those of you who are not uh, new to the channel, you know that my uh, least favorite activity in any video game is jumping. So, uh, we're going to be coming over to a place to jump. We'll get turned around a lot of times too in the game. So right here is, uh, is a gap. So 
you want to try to how you'll usually die is you'll come this way and you'll jump and then you'll roll off that edge to the left. So you kind of want to aim at the roots of the tree there. And you just sprint and don't think about it too hard. And just make your, make your leap. To get you useless amber herbs. You know, it's not even worth getting. We're not doing a magic build, but if you are, those are useful. So I want to show you where the stuff is. Jump on back. Go. Push B. You will move faster up the ladders. And over here, this tells you about plunging attacks. Basically, just walk off the edge and hit the light attack button. Then you land on the dude, and it does major damage, like you saw right there. Come in here, grab this useless red eye orb. We're not going to be doing any. PvP stuff, that's for PvP, what ha What you do is you put the red eye on the ground and someone else in the game who's playing online can go into the game and uh, touch the the red sign that you put down and then you can end the door. I'm not a PvPer, I don't have enough time to spend the millions of hours in, in Souls, uh, you know, in Souls... PvP is kind of gross. Um, it's very trolly. People will... They'll make builds just to ruin your gear. Um, that you then have to repair. Just to be obnoxious. Uh, so, yeah. It's never really been my thing. I probably didn't need to use that heal. But I'm gonna drop it down here in a second. And there's the magic... Magic tones. Majula Melody. We're in our hub. This is the hub for the game, Majula. Um, so you're going to jump down here. There's nothing on this ledge. Go to this ledge and drop down and turn around behind you. And you're going to get a Morning Star and a Cleric's Chain. Now, the Morning Star is the weapon we're going to use to start out the game. Um, because it hits pretty hard. And that is good. We're eventually, pretty early on, we're going to get a longsword. Fire longsword that we use a lot in our playthrough. It's, you know, it's awesome. It's a great weapon, very versatile. It's a great move set. Can't go wrong with the uh, fire longsword. So, light the bonfire, and then we're going to kind of go around in a circle and collect all the stuff. So we're going to head over here. Put the stuff in Majula. Live gem. Okay. Head up the road here. And we are going to come around the corner here. Now, if you kneel at the shrine, it will make the game harder. So if the game's too easy for you, you want it to be more difficult? Hey, knock yourself out. Uh, the game's pretty hard as it is. So if this is your first Souls game, I would very strongly recommend that you do not kneel at that shrine. All right, so we're going to go ahead and continue down here. We're only going down this tunnel for a little ways. We want to go ahead and grab uh, a shield that's down here. We don't need the shield because we started with the Iron Parma, which is a pretty good shield. But down here, there's another shield that you can get out of a little cutout in the wall. So, go ahead and open this up. So, if you started the game and you didn't have a shield and you want a shield, you can get the Crimson Parma. It's not as good as the shield we have now, but if you need a shield and you don't have a shield, uh, it is there for you. Okay, so, we're going to head back up to... Eventually, we're going to be turning this door. Uh, but that's not for quite some time. Get ready for this. The dulcet tones of the jewel. So head over here. And there are some, uh, like some little pigs over there. Do not, do not hit the pigs. They will follow you around and it's it's nigh on impossible to kill them. We don't have a key for that door yet. We can go in here, though. Uh, 
yeah, so you you don't you don't want to hit the pigs. If you do for some reason accidentally hit the pigs, just run back to the bonfire and rest, and uh, you should be fine. Here's Mullen. I don't know if we have to talk to him, but we'll we'll talk to him. We're not going to buy anything from him. I see you again. Probably will, but I'm not going to ever buy anything. From him, so, there you go. so head on over to Lenagrast and talk to him. He's going to complain that this door is locked. So we've got to uh, got to find a key. What are we finding that key for him to open up his little blacksmith shop. That's how we will. Uh, that's how we will sort of upgrade our materials. You come up here and talk to this dude, and he will tell you a lot of stuff. Um, if you're interested in the lore and all that stuff. But try to exhaust his dialogue, and he will ask you if you want to join his coven. Oops. And I do that all the time when I speak through his dialogue. So you want to join because he will give you a ring. So, um, and you can learn his gesture. Welcome, yay! May you find peace on your journey. May I? May I find peace? I'm sure. I was going, I was to death. That would have been the most embarrassing death. Might as well go put that ring on now. We get four ring slots in Dark Souls Three, which is cool. And now, um, did we get any souls along our journey? We did. Do not eat the Estus Flash Shard. That gives us our healing items. But we can eat the other souls. And now we come down and talk to the Emerald Herald. She's going to be um, the person who levels us. She'll give you the Estes shard, and she'll give you a bunch of uh, backstory and stuff if you're interested. Go ahead and listen to it. But what we're going to do first is we're going to level up a bit here. So we're going to need 12 and dex for the bow. That, that we're going to get a short bow before too long. And uh, the next level we're going to put in endurance. You would think you would want. Endurance is the green bar that gives you your stamina. Vigor is the red bar that gives you your health. And you would think you would want to put up the health. And we will be elevating health, but early on, um, you're getting hit harder than than the health that you need. If that makes any sense. So you want to be able to swing your weapon a lot. I did give her the other. Yes. All right. And now we will have two. So our Estus Flash Shard is strengthened. So we've done what we can here in Majula. So now we are ready to kind of get into the game proper. So what you do is you head this direction. People kill themselves here just to have their blood stains. These are like when someone dies. Um... Maybe he was like dueling or something. I don't know, but um, he died there. Sometimes people will like intentionally poison themselves just to get a blood stain. It's bizarre. There's all kinds of bizarre people in the Dark Souls community. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open the big old gate. And we are making our way to kind of the first First zone. So excited. All right, so we're gonna come in here. Uh, you could go across this bridge and just go that way out into the Force of the Fallen Giants, but there's stuff. As 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 you would expect in a Souls game, there is stuff. So we want to get the stuff. 
go ahead and get that human effigy. And come back. And we're going to run and jump over, over that area. Almost went too far. That's always how I... Well, not always, but that's many times how I'll die. Is I'll wait too long trying to get the very last step. And then I end up trying to jump, but I'm already in mid air. So don't do that. Alright, so here we go. Forest of the Fallen Giants. And there's going to be a couple rubes here. I do not worry about Hippoclops over there. Uh, I think that's what they're called. And, um... You, you can kill him, but it will take forever. There goes Rosie. Just head on over. Knife. You might as well head across the way here, across the stream, and grab the bonfire. Light the bonfire. Uh, this dude will come. If, he, if he's too close to the bonfire, you will not be able to rest at the bonfire. Let's go ahead and smash his skull. And now a rest. Now, since we have full Estus, um, we have life gems. We did get hit once, but, you know, we're going to be okay. So we're going to keep Actually, yeah, we're going to keep going. Go ahead and head over here and then grab that guy's attention. Bring him back. There's a guy with a bow back there. He's right over my head there shooting. Um, he will just plunk me. Kill that hollow. Now when we head over there, to kill him, the body above him is going to wake up. Now there's going to be a third guy who's going to jump down. Fourth guy. So uh, this is not ideal. But just create space and relax. Remember, you have no stamina at this point in the game. So every block is... Every swing is going to cost quite a chunk of your total stamina. So keep backing up. Using space, and you'll be fine. He is not to panic. Now, without all of his little guys guarding him, he's easily dispatched. And we can pick up a short bow. Wow, that's great. You're going to get a short bow anyway, pretty soon. But, uh, you know, we'll take it. So the guy with the axe actually jumps down from up. So, um, since we were a little bit uh, in the mayhem zone right there, he jumped down early and let us have it. All right, so we're going to head up here, and we're going to grab this and kill this guy. But don't advance any farther into this area. We will be killing all of those, all of those hollows that don't have shinies. We'll be uh, getting up when we get close to them. But we want to go up here first. So there's going to be guys going to go down. And we don't even have to get down. We can just kill him. And he's going to be in our way here. We are going to want to jump. I want to make this jump to get that item right over there. So just some space for yourself. Run and jump. Now, we probably shouldn't have made that jump because we did run into the rock. But um, the game, I guess, took some mercy on us. Which, that's the, that never happens. So I think the run is starting well. Doggo is excited over here. The dogs just had dinner, so after they have dinner, they like to play because they're very excited for some reason. Alright, so head up here, and what we're going to do is we're going to do this first. Get all the souls. Down a little bit diagonal there so you don't fall. 
Now we want to hit this guy, but we want to hit him sideways because if you hit him from the back, he will fall down. He might fall down anyway, but um, you notice it takes three hits. So if you, if you come around the back and hit him, he will fall down there and then he will be down there throwing bombs at you for the whole time that you are uh, trying to um, kill all those things. back over you can jump down here but um you, you know you start with so little health that uh you know you, you know, you'll take a hit on your health a little bit. you don't want to so just head it back over and climb down the ladder. um you can't really like there are people who of course who speed run the game but um you know if this is your first time Um, it's going to take you a long time. Is this isn't a game that you finish in a few hours. This is not like an eight-hour game. You're in it probably. It's your first playthrough. You're in it for quite, quite a while. See the stamina. It's all. It's always the stamina. See, and I still don't have it. So that's why we're putting points into stamina early on. Is because of. All right, uh, do I want to use the Estus? There's a tricky area coming up, so you want to make sure that you have some key. In, in True Souls fashion, um, they don't let you, like, click on the target until it gets up. Which has always annoyed me, because if you come across someone and they're sleeping, um you're going to be able to target them. So for me, you know, there's things that annoy me are mechanics that, that don't make sense. You know, that just seem punitive for no reason. Like, I should be able to target that guy. I shouldn't have to swing past him. You know. But... You know, what can you do? I do have to say, though, that um, the difference between this game and Dark Souls 1, one of the reasons I, I, I know it's going to sound heretical to many people, is that this game... Uh, this game is not nearly as trolly as Dark Souls 1 is. There is so much cheatery nonsense in Dark Souls 1. Uh, so our first episode is going to go a little bit longer. Normally there will be about a half hour, but since it's our first episode, we want to get well and truly started. So go ahead and head in here. And then what I do is I just jump back. There's going to be a guy with an axe. I'm just going to take care of him. Just do it to it. And then I come past this doorway and I jump back in. And these two rubes jump out. That gives you enough time to get in here, get your roll on, and uh oh, uh -oh. I envision my first death. in. His buddy's going to come in. So just head back this way. Just space him out a little bit. The other guy's pretty slow. Roll, 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 roll. 
know. Right, grab this item, gotcha. and you're going to want to sort of sprint up to here, juke the bow, see if you can hit this guy, and then roll immediately. Uh, I don't think it's possible to do that move without getting hit by the guy with the, with the sword or the knife. This guy is so annoying. You don't want to die, so I'm going to get you. So plunge attacks are a thing in the game, as you saw in the little tutorial earlier. You know, there's a guy shooting arrows at us, so you just want to kind of hustle over and grab the buckler. And that's the guy who's hit us with the arrows. He is going to be dealt with uh, soon enough. But for now, we're just going to head on up the ladder. There's be a guy who's going to try to... try to zerg us from around the corner here. Much of a zerg. Grab the witching urns. Head back in here. Open the door. Get in, light the bonfire. And this is probably a pretty good place to call this first episode. Um, we are going to be heading back to Majula uh, to give Lenagrass the key that we're going to get here in a second. But thanks for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. We'll see you then, friends. <laughs>